The Sunday Night Anthem, presented by Uber Eats. So much to talk about that issue. We'll get to it during the game. But, Chris, we sat down with Tua Friday. What was your takeaway? Just how excited he was to be back, you know? And the Dolphins are so excited to have him. Well, they're 3-0 in games in which he's finished. But I also think he understands the significance of this concussion issue, not only for his own health, but for the Dolphins, for the National Football League in general. The doctors say he's ready. That's all he needed there. Miami's 3-3. Three three. Pittsburgh is 2-4. and four. Their quarterback, Kenny Pickett, left the game with a concussion last week. He's coming back. So the Steelers, they won the opener, lost the next four, and then they beat Brady and the Bucks last Sunday. Anything to build on from that one? Well, I think that Pickett made fewer mistakes last week, which was a good sign. But tonight, he's going to need to make some explosive plays down the field. The Miami Dolphins on defense have a very attacking style with what they're doing. Only way to slow that down? Make some big plays in your own. Oh, big plays? What be happening on the other side of the field? Miami's got a lot of superstars. A track meet is what Mike Tomlin called it, and he's got to stop it. We'll see if they can do it. It's Pittsburgh in Miami on Sunday Night Football. <laughs> Sunday Night Football is brought to you by Hyundai. It's your journey. And by Untuck It. Shirts designed to be worn untucked. Untuckit.com. Tonight, you'll be seeing the game like never before with the Walmart Plus 4K Skycam. Get more out of game day with Walmart Plus, a membership with free same-day delivery on fresh groceries and more. Peacock's the live streaming home for every week of Sunday Night Football. <laughs> Plus, go deeper with exclusive post-game breakdowns. One of the hottest teams in the world. Fully loaded NFL up. Because if it's made for Sunday night, it's on the game. NBC Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Hi, I'm Don Shula. A lot of people have asked me what I do when the football season's over. I like to watch movies. I've seen this next one quite a few times already. But you know something? I don't think I'll ever get tired of seeing it. Have you seen the dominoes? Right? No, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. Is it concert? No, I, I don't know. It's just everywhere. 17 games without a 
perfect. But to experience perfection, well, None of my that's room reserved for the just way it a select few. Fifty years ago, seventeen times. Well, the San Diego Chargers, Minnesota Vikings. Why can't why can't we just get a dog? We have the eye. And all seventeen times, they went down in defeat. I don't know. I'm making. Let me think this. We were a team of destiny. It's historical. We are the best ever. The perfect season. It never dies. <laughs> Each year, the spirit rises back up, and with that spirit, we rise up. Ladies and gentlemen, 50 years ago, the Miami Dolphins achieved a feat the pro football world had never seen before or has since attained. Perfection. On this special night, joining Tua Tungo Vailoa and Alandon Roberts, we are honored to welcome four Pro Football Hall of Famers from the 1972 Miami Dolphins undefeated team. Larry Sancho, Bob Greasy, Larry Little, and Paul Warfield. We are also proud to welcome to Hard Rock Stadium the rest of the 1972 Miami Dolphins. They have been here most of the weekend. Many warm ovations, many handshakes, many stories told. And there's Tua Tonga by Lolo who joins those Dolphins legends as they are out there for the coin toss. For more on Tua's return to the field tonight, here's Melissa's team. <laughs> Mike, Tua Tonga Bailoa has been at the center of a national discussion about player health and safety because four weeks ago he hit his head on the ground in the second quarter of the Buffalo Bills game. He appeared wobbly in that game, but after being evaluated in the locker room, it was determined he didn't have a concussion and he returned for the second half. The Dolphins and Tua said it was a back injury that caused him to stumble. Four days later, Tua was sacked in Cincinnati and again, hit his head on the ground. He was taken off the field on a stretcher and to a hospital where he was diagnosed with a concussion. A joint investigation between the NFL and NFL Players Association determined that while the Dolphins did follow the league's concussion protocol after Tua's initial injury in the Buffalo game, the outcome was not what was intended when the policy was created. So the policy has since changed. Now, if a player shows any instability, he won't be allowed to return. And the NFLPA fired the unaffiliated neurotrauma consultant who worked with the Dolphins team doctor. After seeing several outside specialists, Tua was cleared last weekend and returned to the team facility last week. We asked Tua if his experience would change the way he played the game, and he said yes. He'll try to get the ball out faster or throw it away. His focus, Mike, is on the longevity of his career. He was excited to return to the field, and it's the third straight game with a change of the starter for the first-year head coach, Mike McDaniel. He, of course, was the 49ers offensive coordinator. And on the opposite side, the other Mike, Mike Tomlin, year 16 as the Steelers head coach, 18th on the all-time regular season wins list. We had a shower here during Football Land America, about 7.30 or so. It is a warm, humid night, as you would expect in Miami. I guess as we honor the 72 team, appropriate that the temperature is in the 70s. Pittsburgh won the toss, deferred to the second half of Chris Boswell, the eight-year veteran, will kick it off for the Steelers. And Raheem Mostert, the speedster, the track star, starting running back for the Dolphins, back to receive. Miami 3-3, three and three. Pittsburgh 2-4. Two and four. Two legendary franchises get going. With a lot of Steeler fans in the house tonight. Mostert begins from the one. And they pull it by Mostert. The 25-yard line will be brought down to 29. That's where the Miami offense will take over. Two is on the back of Alabama. Ryan Mostert, Purdue. Alec Ingold, Wisconsin. Jalen Mawada, Alabama. Tyreek Hill, Pearson Community College. Mike Isaki, Penn State. Toronto Armstead, Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Liam Eichenberg, Notre Dame. Connor Williams, Texas. Robin Hart, Louisiana. Brandon Shell, South Carolina.